So good afternoon, uh, one and all present here. I happy to welcome the respected speaker, Dr. V. Sankar, IAHR, Bangalore as a principal scientist in horticultural subject, particularly vegetables and fruits. Then uh, all the faculty members here, uh, professor and head the department of uh, vegetables, department of plant protection, then post harvest management, uh, then the uh, invited uh, um, our uh, guest uh, Dr. Rajagopal and professors and every every all uh, student friends. So once again I welcome. And uh, this is very important lecture uh, pertaining to horticulture. That is uh, future fruit crops. That is underutilized fruit crops. This is need for the hour also. So in horticulture is a sense. Fruits and vegetables, other uh, other um, horticultural crops is a major uh, major crops for the uh, future prospects. So, in this sense, underutilized that is minor fruits is a major utilizing crop nowadays. In the sense of commercial exploitation, then pharmaceutical utilization, and nowadays. Uh, for uh, health benefits, health benefits with respect to fruit crops, the two minor fruits play a major role. So in this sense, this uh, guest lecture play a major uh, confidence among the student community. So in this sense, uh, I welcome uh, Dr. Uh, V. Sangar once again. He is an eminent uh, horticulturist, renowned scientist in uh, IHR and uh, uh, throughout uh, our Indian uh, uh, prospects. Then he released more than um, uh, 10 books with ISBN for the benefit of uh, scientific uh, society. Then uh, he uh, published more than 50 articles in scientific international and national level and published 100 uh, popular articles for the benefits of farmers in Karnataka as well as in Tamil Nadu. Then he participated more than 200 uh, international, national and uh, statewide seminars and present a lot of papers. Then he got award of national, international is more than five numbers and visited the international institutes also. Then his specialization, um, now it's a vegetables earlier in fruit crops. So once again, on behalf of HNRA Periculum Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, I invite Dr. V. Sankar, the principal scientist IHR Bangalore to deliver the Nobel lecture that is fruit crops, underutilized fruit crops for the future perspectives. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your nice introduction and kind words. Uh, good afternoon to all. Uh, as I told uh, myself, uh, Dr. V. Shankar, working as a principal scientist at the Indian Institute of Horticulture Research. And uh, my specialization is a uh, vegetable. But earlier, uh, more than three years, I was working in fruits. So, uh, first of all, I am very proud to present here as a first batch uh, uh, student. Uh, we were the first batch of uh, periculum. And uh, afterwards, uh, I did MSc at the TNAU. And after completion of MSc, immediately I joined ARS. And uh, after completion of professional period, again I came to TNAU. And uh, I did my PhD under the guidance of Dr. Veera Raghavadatham, sir. And uh, afterwards, I posted at uh, Directorate of Onion and Garlic Research at Pune, Maharashtra. Almost uh, more than one decade I was uh, worked there. And uh, there we standardized a lot of production technology, particularly for onion and garlic, starting from seed to harvesting, uh, starting from seed method of sowing, seed rate, intercrops, weed management, fetication, irrigation, precision farming, high tech horticulture various types of storage structures, everything. Almost we have standardized more than 22 technologies in onion and garlic. And afterwards, I got transferred to IAHR regional station at Kurk. I think you might be knowing, isn't it? Kurk is a hill state in Karnataka. There we are having central horticultural experiment station. So I was posted here. There there was no work in vegetable. So I forced to work on uh, fruit crops. So we started a uh, future fruit, particularly underutilized fruit crops. I was working in avocado, 
uh, garcinia and also simultaneously i was working in exotic uh, vegetable crops exotic fruits and uh, vegetable crops uh, as uh, start told in this uh, topic future fruit crops it is very close to my heart and also a lot of farmers demand wherever we'll go farmers they used to ask uh, this kind of underutilized or underexploited fruits only and it's a very fancy topic so last time i presented vegetables i thought that this will be useful to our students community as you know that ihr indian institute of horticulture research it was started during the year 1967 with the objective of to increase the production productivity of horticulture crops particularly fruits vegetables and flowers so we are having a three research station at ihr one is at kodagu that is a central horticultural experiment station and second one at a central horticultural experiment station at tumkur karnataka and the third one chs that is a central horticultural experiment station at odisha so in kodagu means kurk we are working under utilized fruit crops and for tumkur station mostly they are concentrating on avocado and also uh, jack and dragon fruit and the third chs odisha they are working on future particularly under utilized fruits and vegetables okay so whatever we are uh, work done at ihr particularly 80% of the underutilized fruit crops we are working at kurk station only so i will present one by one so as is told future crops future fruit crops is nothing but underutilized or under exploited future crops because of this nutritional potential i demand in pharma industry and also processing industry now this name is coined as a future fruit crops okay so history if you see the history of this station and also fruit crops this future crops more than 100 underutilized fruit crops we are working at chs chetali kurk <coughs> actually earlier it was started 1947 it was started as a orange research station and later on it changes to kurk orange research station then later on 1972 it was upgraded as a central horticultural experiment station okay so if you see the photo it is a hill district in karnataka and headquarters is madikeri it is called merkara in british period so i think this are all the popular tourist place i think you might be knowing isn't it maybe you know a lot of people they used to visit also is a kaveri kaveri is originated in talakaveri that place is located in madikeri this is a famous raja seat and uh, falls and uh, tubara elephant camp and also this is a tibetan camp and a lot of you no know, tourist attractions are there in uh, madikeri and kurk and if we come to the plant genetic resources or varietal wealth in at chhs chetali we are working more than 100 crops and we are having more than 1200 collections in rambutan mangosteen kokum of course kokum i think we know in garcinia so we are having a four species including malabar tamarind and we are having avocado passion fruit litchi jamun karonda karambula anano dragon fruit and including durian so these are all the major one we are about present we are working so if you see the, the climate and the other uh, topography of the kurk basically it is a hill station that elevation is more than 1000 uh, feet and if you see the <coughs> soil fertility and also cropping pattern mostly they used to grow rice rice or paddy followed by some uh, cooker beds this is on a low land area and if you see the upland and mostly coffee based ecosystem so major one is a uh, coffee maybe arabica or robusta depending upon the elevation and uh, inclusion of a multi tier cropping system comprising of pepper and uh, some fruits of avocado orange and also uh, some uh, <coughs> forest trees this is a major multi tier cropping system which uh, we are following at uh, kurk station so among the fruit crops are among the underutilized uh, crop now now avocado is we cannot say underutilized now it is a cash crop so now it comes under the future fruit crop isn't it as you might be knowing eh, avocado uh, what do you call that uh, <coughs> avocado milk or no avocado that cream or avocado milk shake is a very famous and popular and it was introduced from a tropical america and for in india it was introduced long back maybe in you know, 300 or 400 years back it was introduced in being in south india it was introduced first at kallar barliar in tamil nadu it was introduced at kallar barliar fruit research station at nilgiri district and in bangalore it was introduced at lalbagh 
So the, apart from that, now we are growing most in this avocado in uh, only hill or subtropical climates, particularly for Sherura eagles and Nilgiri eagles. Nilgiri eagles only lower part, color burlier. And of course, the Sherura eagles, eight card. And apart from that, we used to grow some parts, particularly for the Thirnal Valley, Thinkasi, Sengote area, they used to grow. And some hillocks, particularly for Elagri hills, Javadu hills. Uh, these are the uh, popular uh, spot or popular area. And already avocado farmers used to grow under uh, as a monocrop, it's a very less uh, number of plants, or uh, as an intercrop in coffee plantation. And apart from Tamil Nadu, so other major growing area is uh, Kerala. Kerala, Karnataka, and some parts of Sikkim, and also Maharashtra. Even Nashik and Pune area also very good plantation or very good orchards are available. But uh, Tamil Nadu is a leading one and followed by Kerala. And uh, nowadays it is called as a super or a super fruit, isn't it? Because of its nutritive profile. Particularly among the all fruits, this is the only fruit having good cholesterol, particularly for it is uh, rich in minerals and antioxidants. And uh, coming to the uh, immunity part, even uh, Corona period, most of the <coughs> doctors, they used to recommend avocado fruits, isn't it? So because it is having a high pH and uh, acidic condition, it will dilute, isn't it? And that Corona virus and all survive only acidic condition. So these fruits in alkaline, so if you eat this fruit and that uh, because of that uh, pH, uh, that all virus particles will be destroyed. So this is the only fruit that time we recommended. Then because uh, it will also build up uh, our immunity because this is the only fruit having omega-3 fatty acid. As you know that omega-3 fatty acid is uh, very important for our heart, isn't it? So if you go to cardiologist, any cardiologist, it's, if you are having a high cholesterol or high blood pressure, and if we go for an organic way, they used to recommend some fruits, isn't it? So for vegetables, they will recommend broccoli, isn't it? Broccoli soup we have to drink. And for fruits, they will suggest only avocado because this is the only fruit having more uh, quantity of omega-3 fatty acid. Apart from that fatty acid, it is also uh, having a good amount of minerals, particularly for potassium. So this always you know, uh, reduce our blood pressure. So everywhere, because uh, you can see the any market or any shopping mall, only avocado, they are serving as a avocado milkshake, isn't it? Because uh, this is a tasteless fruit. So we can make a lot of you know, this uh, byproducts, uh, avocado ice cream, avocado guacam, and avocado cakes. Uh, so these are all the whatever products we are saying. Uh, we used to prepare it our IHR post harvest uh, laboratory. Apart from food use, this is the best use for Cosmetic industry, isn't it? Once upon a time, I think you might be knowing uh, Amala, isn't it? And that actress is a brand ambassador for avocado. She is having a uh, estate in uh, Kodakanal Hills, uh, more than 100 acres, and uh, she used to grow avocado and uh, she used to uh, uh, stare some advertisement. <coughs> So this is nowadays known, this cosmetic industry is growing like anything. More than 1,000 crores we are earning from cosmetic industry from Indian side. So the avocado is a best fruit for cosmetic use, particularly for uh, hair wash and also the glowing skin and a lot of creams, even oil, olive and this avocado oil also available. And apart from that, uh, if you see the usage, once upon a time, it is a uh, known fruit only, isn't it? But uh, we don't know that uh, nutritional quality. In particularly Kerala, it is called as a dark fruit because nobody knows this value of the fruit. And every homestead, even if you go to Kerala, so most of the poor, um, household, they are having own jackfruit or no, own papaya or some fruit trees they used to maintain. So most of the household, they are having a avocado, but they don't know how to use it and they don't know the taste of this fruit. So simply it will fall and uh, mostly even uh, dogs uh, used to eat, isn't it? So that's why they used to call it as a dog fruit. This was a fact of once upon a time, isn't it? It's not uh, now. Okay, now it became a dawn of the fruit. Uh, this is a story. This is a one type of Kerala story, isn't it? In general, Kerala story we know, but this is a once upon a time, it was a dark fruit, now it became a dawn of the fruit, isn't it? So among the fruit, this is a very costly fruit and also having a rich in all kind of nutrients and minerals, isn't it? So if we see the varietal wealth, a lot of varieties and races are there. In general, so we are having a three races, Mexican race, Guatemalan race, 
and also west indian race this is a three races but the tropical climate we used to follow only west indian race okay so only west indian race only it will survey at the, our condition and the fruits are medium size normally this weighs from 400 to 600 gram and the maturity period also somewhat higher side and if you go see mexican and county mala this temperature is somewhat lower side and they are having a fruit size is somewhat large medium to large size and also the maturity period will be less normally four to six months but ours uh, it will take seven to nine months that is only different and the second is a fruit size our tropical avocado is a small size small to medium and if we compare to mexican and county melon race they are also having a medium to large size this is a difference and coming to the color our fruit is almost uh, light green green or somewhat yellowish and if there's uh, particularly for no this uh, hill or cool climate the color will be a uh, somewhat uh, purple or no crimson color and um, sometimes used to get yellow color also so these are all the major types but what we are recommending is mostly west indian race only but a lot of farmers they used to grow horse variety isn't it you might be knowing horse variety it is comes under the mexican race because that fruit size is small to medium but the color is attractive attractive red color isn't it so wherever we will go we will attract only colors if you go to you know uh, any market that colored fruits or colored vegetables will attract isn't it so even though we are having very good varieties but most of the farmers are consumer point of view dark color or purple color will be a more attractive so nowadays now lot of horse varieties are we are importing even one plant cost is 3000 rupees on grafted plants we used to recommend grafted plants at ihr we are recommending and grafted avocado plants at the rate of 150 rupees to 200 rupees but if we want to import horse varieties that uh, grafted plants is 3000 rupees that is a difference and this is a race and if you coming to the varieties again a lot of varieties all imported only only so we don't have any named variety except a few isn't it? I think might be knowing eh? uh, no, finally yeah, students are BG students. Eh? In India, there is no released variety, but except one variety is a TKD 1. Isn't it? Studying would say one is the first released variety in India. It's released by our TNAU HRS registration studying would say. Apart from that, recently IAHR we have released two varieties. One is Arka Supreme and the second one is Arka Rabi. Okay, so at present India, we are having only three named variety. TKD1, studying to say one, followed by Arka uh, Ravi and Arka Supreme. And others and all, all imported varieties only. And if you see the variability, you can see color, size, and shape. Isn't it? Even our Chetali, we are having more than 200 collections. And size, shape, uh, and all, no, it will vary. Even we are having a fruits of 100 gram, and we are having fruits of 3.5 kg. Giant size avocado also available, and small, tiny fruits also available. And this was the exotic collection. In Chetali station, we are having uh, more than uh, two, uh, 20 exotic collections we are having, which we collected from Australia, California, and US. And uh, mostly the colors are uh, ash type. Mostly it's a pink color type. And other one is a somewhat uh, globular shape. That is a light green to dark green. This is all our promising lines while doing evolution. We all documented. So these are all the promising avocado lines which we are maintaining at Chetali. So even we are also having a pink color and crimson color, but it's maybe all imported a lot at local one. So these are all the elite germplasm material we are maintaining at GHS. These varieties are these lines we are going to release very shortly. So this is all based on the size and shape, just to you see color and also attractive bearing and the size also uniform and the cluster bearing isn't it so these are all the promising selections in our ihr and apart from this type we are having a seed like type or a pseudo pseudo avocado isn't it because the seeds are now very small maybe for 5 to 10 gram isn't it in general avocado so 50 to 60 percent will be occupied by seeds if you purchase 400 gram the seed weight will be 150 to 200 gram and the flesh will be minimum only isn't it but we are having in our collection even particularly in this collection we i got it from lower plan eagles only isn't it once upon a time as i told earlier it was introduced in color earlier isn't it followed by it was introduced at Kodakanal Hills, particularly lower Balani Hills, introduced by I think a lot of no promising planters, uh, Mogana Sundaram, Virarase, 
isn't it and ravishandran they are all these stalwarts in uh, avocado industry in our tamil nadu so this kind of no seedless or no very small seeded fruits we collected from lower palani hills only this are all these fruit size itself we will get it no maximum 50 to 100 gram and uh, uh, this is a cluster bearing and the maximum uh, you will get it uh, and the numbers will be around uh, 5000 to 10000 fruits per day you will get it so this is a added advantage so these are the nowadays uh, these avocado and all you know it's a branded avocado we used to call so we used to uh, even if you see the any shopping market or malls uh, this branded avocado you will get it uh, minimum per one fruit they used to sell 150 to 200 rupees this are all the grading grading sorting packing and as per uh, research at avocado as you know that avocado mostly we used to eat as a fresh fruit isn't it because it is a tasteless fruits most of the people they don't like it isn't it it's just like butter taste so mostly we used to prepare avocado cream or avocado milkshake isn't it so what you call that even we will extract uh, that flesh we can add some uh, jaggery or honey and also lhc isn't it these are all the things we'll mix it we'll grind it and we will use as a cream avocado milkshake or cream apart from that uh, recently we developed uh, avocado paste is in it so whenever now we are having a surplus market uh, there is uh, no demand for fruit and uh, we have done this value addition this is a avocado paste or avocado spread we prepared so we prepared a uh, two choice one is a plain uh, taste another one is a chocolate taste so on this spread mostly you can use for as an alternative to jam isn't it because jam is nothing only minimum quantity of any fruit juices added with 60 to 70 percent sugar so instead of jam and we used to prepare avocado spread so this is alternative to jam so you can mix with any kind of chapati or roti tandoori roti or no uh, even bread also this is the alternative this technology recently we developed and this avocado spread and paste we used to send to uh, higher attitude hills, particularly for lay Ladakh areas where our Jawans, our army soldiers and all they are surveying. So those people now we used to supply. So whenever they need the, the, any fruit jam and all, they used to eat this avocado. So they will get more calorie, more energy. So mostly we used to supply for uh, those who are serving in higher altitude. This altitude uh, ranges from more than 10,000 feet, isn't it? Not 5,000, 10,000, more than 10,000 or 20,000 feet. Even last time, Cargill also, we at that time this technology was released and we used to, at that time, we prepared more than 100 kg in this avocado spread and we supplied to army people. And apart from IHR, even DFRL, Defense Research Development Organization, also there, they also used to prepare avocado coffee powder isn't it instead of no a coffee powder they used to prepare instant avocado powder so they will make a avocado milkshake that is the ready to use and the other one is avocado mayonnaise isn't it nowadays no lot of crown nut based mayonnaise are available isn't it so they used to pair, uh, prepare avocado mayonnaise even avocado bulb isn't it avocado coffee powder or pulp powder to make a instant coffee avocado coffee or avocado milkshake and uh, mostly they used to supply this product and all you won't get it in um, open market this is only for army people army and the defense people and uh, we used to conduct a lot of for promotion of this avocado and whatever technology we send it is starting from seed sowing to harvesting and uh, we used to conduct a lot of field day programs and also awareness program so every year in chetali we used to conduct a awareness program brainstorming session so a lot of our uh, vice chancellors even all karnataka based maharashtra based vice chancellors they used to visit and they used to see all our variability in different kind of avocados i think a lot of case studies are available this is all the base one and everybody knows i think isn't it as i mentioned in lawyer palani hills uh, Mr. Mohan Sundaram and uh, Mr. Veeraras and Ravichandar. As I told, they are all stalwarts in uh, avocado industry. Mostly they used to grow avocado in coffee plantation, isn't it? So nowadays for avocado, again people used to ask because we used to recommend uh, last uh, almost uh, more, last uh, three years uh, we used to uh, distribute more than two lakhs uh, grafted plants with area expansion of more than five thousand hectare. 
it's in it so farmers are no uh, processing industries they used to ask as a market where is the market and recently avocado market in india it was started by abhilash kore abhilash kore from maharashtra he was uh, started this uh, organization and wherever you will go Mar uh, avocado you can contact he will send a person and he will lift all your material so he used to uh, export also and he used to supply to the all metro cities even though he is in maharashtra so he will collect a fruits all he will collect a fruit in a refrigerated van and it will reach to pune and nashik from that pune and nashik airport they will move to all hyderabad delhi bangalore and all cities so this is one organization successfully they are doing marketing in avocado apart from that as i told only three released varieties are available one is a tkd1 isn't it studying good seyon i think everybody knows this is a fruit size is a medium size 400 to 600 gram the important feature is what farmers are selling this is having very good storage life isn't it so this is now suitable to transport from one place to another place or one uh, state to another state this is the important one apart from that we are having one more variety is called arka supreme arka supreme is a, our own variety and this is also high yielder and also medium size fruits around 350 to 400 gram and uh, avocado that the pulp seed ratio also very good then latest we released one more variety is called arka ravi earlier we released arka supreme that is a medium size fruit this is somewhat higher higher means it is a fruit ranges from 600 to 800 gram and the fat content also is higher earlier on we released around fat content is 7% this is more than 12% 12 14% and pulp recovery is a 80% the seed content is very small very small seed and the pulp recovery is more so this variety is called as arka ravi so this is all about avocado research at ihr coming to the next crop rambutan rambutan otherwise called hairy lichi isn't it it comes under the which family so mostly it is growing in southeast asian which family hmm? i also forgot and that's why i am asking hmm? rambutan rambutan lichi hmm sapindaceae sapindaceae family isn't it is mostly for southeast asian countries it is very popular isn't it is otherwise called hairy lichi so this uh, rambutan once upon a time we were introduced at chetali maybe 25 years back whatever material we collected from various parts particularly kerala and also some parts of tenkasi and also shengotai area so we collected and we introduced this crop at chetali so you can see the uses and all no it's normal so where we are growing where what are the common or potential area in rambutan so this black starts indicates already this plantation is available particularly some parts of tamil nadu kerala and also karnataka so this yellow dots indicates probable area isn't it further now we can expand or increase the this crop in following districts and if you see the global figure if you see the rambutan producing countries the first one is south asian indonesia indonesia and malaysia occupies more than 90% and if you again now coming to the varieties mostly for 99% all imported varieties only isn't it so varieties the country wise varieties are available indonesia malaysia philippines thailand and for as per india is concerned we are having two released variety is called arka kurk arun and arka kurk pita and one more uh, popular introduction is 18 and 30, 35 these are all the very popular type isn't it so arka kur karun this is a red color type because we released two types one is a red uh, red skin type that is called kur karun and the fruit weight is around 40 to 60 gram and uh, taste is very good even almost uh, free stone because the stone is a uh, very peppery or leathery and the recovery percentage also very good and coming to the pita pita is just like yellow color so yellow color one and the fruit size is somewhat small and the tss is good compared to arun so these are the two varieties which we released at ihr and apart from that two varieties identified from foreign country or indonesian or south eastern country that also very good yielding very good in indian condition that is called n-18 and n-16 okay so these are all the four popular varieties in rambutan so this is a picture you can see arka kur arun so this is a red skin red skin variety very tasty one and arka pita arka kurk pita is a yellow skin variety so in uh, this is a uh, these two varieties mostly we are recommending for tamil nadu 
Kerala and Karnataka. But uh, under Kerala condition, these two varieties are very popular. N18, N16. So mostly these are all the imported varieties. Particularly, I think you might be knowing homegrown nursery. Isn't it? Homegrown nursery at Kancharapalli, Kerala. It's a very popular nursery. They introduce a lot of you no know, exotic fruits. <coughs> exotic fruits. And among the fruits in the Rambutan in one is a major one. So these are the popular varieties they introduced. So this are the current status or conservation of uh, Rambutan orchard at our Chetali, CHS Chetali. If you see the collections and all, again, uh, as I told, we are having more than 200 uh, collections. Uh, and if you see the age of the plant, around uh, 20 years old. And uh, mostly we are interested in fruit yield only. First one is a uh, survivability. At uh, most uh, chetali condition, it is coming very, uh, very good. And we are getting very good yield. And now we are concentrating on higher yield couple with the small seed and is suitable for processing because this is a fruit we are having a very good storage life even after harvesting you can store up to two weeks 15 days and it is very good uh, suitable for processing and also value addition so these are all the some of the uh, post harvest operation um, if you see the yield potential per plant we used to get 50 to 75 kg and the maximum even 100 kg also you will get it and you will get a premium price uh, so in general in market is a 200 to 250 but the farm gate price is 100 rupees per kg and when we will get it uh, this uh, fruit uh, if you see the phenolical growth well, mostly for july august you used to get it the is it uh, so most of the fruits most of the unreutilized fruits this is a major season it will fall mostly mostly on may june july may june july is a crucial period for all kind of underutilized fruits so rambutan lychee everything now you will get it on june july period only this is all about our variety arun and this is also arun see just to see that seed this is a papery leathery seed otherwise no even if a commercial variety is if you see this is a big seed is very difficult to eat this is a field view of rambutan this again a field view this again another variety released variety yellow skin variety even for propagation techniques, they used to standardize. So once upon a time, we used to propagate only through air layering. But nowadays, we are using crafting methods also. Even butting also very much successful. These are the butted rambutan plants at our nursery. These are the some production practices. So normally, plants we used to cover. This kind of no, bird net cover, we used to cover it. Otherwise, what is the purpose? This coverage of plant. Why we are covering? Hmm? mainly for birds isn't it because rambutan once during now harvesting time or maturity time lot of it will invite a lot of birds so you won't get a single fruit so this is a fish net fish net used fish net used to cover for during that period only only for during now maturity after maturity uh, up to harvest we used to maintain or we used to cover this kind of bird net covering all different types of harvesting but harvesting mostly with sticks we have to harvest that is the important thing we cannot harvest our single fruit isn't it so it is having very good storage life if you harvest with the sticks then only you can able to transport for long distance so this is the sorting and grading other than that this are the some post harvest operations washing grading drying then nowadays, no, this is a gift pack is available in Karnataka, Kerala. I don't know whether it is available in Tamil Nadu. So even for 1 kg fruits, it's a 10 to 15 fruits available, 400 rupees per pack. So gift pack. Even Karnataka, if you see the uh, big uh, or no politicians or no big uh, businessmen, marriages and all, uh, instead of giving coconut, isn't it? After uh, marriage, we used to give mostly coconut or betel nut. That, that's all, isn't it? Now they used to give gift. All now, mostly for businessmen. One gift, attractive gift is a rambutan. This kind of gift they used to give. Otherwise, a processed product, particularly for no mango, amla, processed products they used to give. This is also wrapping package materials. This again a package and storage in cold storage. This again a packaging house. So apart from that, this is uh, our uh, Indian condition, uh, what we are doing, no? so whatever package or good materials, we used to export, isn't it? For import or local use, this kind of no transport and package only, isn't it? Just to see. 
there is no package at all simply now they will harvest in their bulk they will put it in vehicle and directly you know they will park their vehicle in all kind of you no know, road sites and we used to get it so this is indian style marketing this is all marketing and a lot of successful growers as per rambutan is concerned in kerala one farmer they used to earn 25 to 50000 per tree okay so per one tree they used to earn 25000 minimum 25000 so on the edge of the plant around 15 to 20 years because it's only one time harvest even june july per kg they used to get 100 to 150 rupees k this is a rambutan exclusive sales counter is available at kerala in india only one market or only exclusive market retail is available at kerala so they used to sell this kind of rambutan all underutilized exotic fruits so coming to the value addition as i told so apart from uh, direct uh, or no table purpose the, there is no market again uh, marketing is a problem so the processing value addition we attempted it's not uh, we are not tried all uh, just we attempted and the project is going on so these are all the products we can make it but if you see the market these are all the products available in rambutan already for uh, indonesia uh, philippines and manila and all they are doing you no know, lot of this kind of uh, products making these are all the commercial products available in rambutan and again for rambutan also we used to conduct because india we are the only station working in rambutan okay so no other station no other university except iihr so we are also we are only having a very good uh, rich germplasm material and yearly once we used to conduct rambutan field day so anybody interested to participate because july or august we used to conduct so we will send an invitation so i think you might be knowing as i told homegrown nursery is a very popular in and uh, distributing this kind of underutilized uh, exotic fruits even particularly they are supplying grafted plants to different parts of the country isn't it so apart from that uh, rambutan other crop it's a carry lychee as i told this is a lychee isn't it without uh, hairs so as per iihr is concentrating we are concentrating only off season production of lychee so lychee where will grow where you have seen lychee hmm? in india India, where you find lychee fruits? Hmm? Bihar, exactly. Because Bihar, they are having lychee, NRC lychee station. So, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, UP, MP, and all no, major growing areas, isn't it? But apart from uh, North India, South India, where you can see lychee? Hmm? Lychee, where you have seen in South India or Tamil Nadu? Have you seen or not? Huh? Kodakanal. Kodakanal, you won't find any lychee. Huh? You can find a lychee tree, not a lychee fruit, isn't it? Tadian could say also, I think one tree, isn't it, sir? One or two trees are available, but you won't find. Huh? Yeah, exactly. For Kutralam, Tengasi, Chengote areas, you will find a lot of lychee tree, isn't it? So there is a difference between North Indian lychee and South Indian lychee. For North India, we used to get lychee on May, June. Okay, for South India, particularly for no, Tamil Nadu or uh, Karnataka, we used to get lychee on November and December. Okay, so that is the difference. That's why we want to promote off-season production of lychee. So in lychee for North India, study would say, Shagi. But we don't know that, isn't it, sir? Because you know, two or three plants are there. When they were introduced, uh, what is the source of that materials, we don't know. So that is a major drawback because one season we are getting fruits and another season we are not getting. Of course, the shagi we used to get regular and another China variety is there. That is a, again alternate bearing. So one year we'll get, next year we won't get it. So in general for lychee, as I told, some parts of Vainad we are having a plantation. Even Karnataka we are having some area. Tamil Nadu only for limited area we are having and uh, some popular varieties. I think no, I think varieties you know all imported or local varieties only. And thing, as I told, we used to concentrate off-season lychee production because off-season you used to get 500 rupees per kg. Normally, per lychee season you will get 200 rupees. So off-season you will get 500 rupees per kg. So these are all the possible area, or just we want to introduce these are all the potential area for lychee cultivation. In Karnataka, of course, Kodagu we are having in Chikmagalur, Tarwade, Kerala, of course, Vayanad it is there. We want to introduce Idiki also, and some reports are saying that these are all the possible area to introduce. Already for Tenkasi, 
color barlier and some parts of lower balan eagles it is available but you won't find any orchard here you can see one or two trees only isn't it in this is all the possibility or potential area for lychee introduction of course maharashtra also and this is all the famous popular varieties yeah, as far as lychee is concerned i think shaggy i don't know photo is not visible and the china variety is there vedana kaspa rose sandal and late padana these are all the six popular varieties among the variety in the rose sandal is very popular one because it will give fragrance or aroma but very popular high yielding type is shaggy shaggy is a very popular type and a very tasty one and continuous bearing every year used to get fruiting but the china type as you know china type isn't it any china mall or china material sometime it will work sometime it won't work isn't it so like that only on one season you will get a flowering and the next season you won't get any flowering okay that's why name it is china type isn't it so these are all the popular types i think a shaggy came isn't it at least the mutamlingam sir told so maybe we based on the size and shape we easily will identify just like mango variety if we keep mango variety we will easily identify like that even lychee variety also we can identify and after tasting also we will come to know isn't it one is a visual appearance based on the size and shape and the second the third one is organolepticus easily you can find which variety is belongs to this say even chetali we are having very good lychee orchard we are having a more than 30 year old orchard we are having and we are maintaining 12 varieties so anybody is interested because even tour program also you can plan it ma'am so instead of planning for now north india even our own south india on chetali station they are having a very good uh, this kind of no underutilized fruits wealth so instead of going for north india to see be uh, lychee in bihar you can visit uh, kurk itself so this is a variety i told the fragrance variety is a rose scented one so this is almost a 35 years old orchard uh, we are wearing at our uh, chetali station this is a shoggy is a popular regular bearing variety so again here we used to cover fruits isn't it to avoid birds damage this is a some of the operation in harvesting sorting packing this is a one success story from bayanad so only one farmer this is almost a one tree only one tree is having from one tree is any 1 lakh rupees only one tree is having and off season production so minimum you used to get 500 kg and a premium uh, premium price 250 to 300 rupees after all investment all uh, uh, <coughs> exclusion of uh, cost of cultivation all expenditure he used to get 1 lakh per plant so this is a successful story and another farmer from kurudath from kurk he used to have uh, around 20 trees and he used to earn 5 lakhs 5 lakhs per annum he used to maintain so only for 20 trees he is having okay thank you so another one another successful story is uh, madam is called lakshmi uh, she is also from uh, kurk kurk area she is uh, also a successful uh, grower of lychee and uh, she used to prepare lot of pie products more than one dozen products she used to prepare and she got uh, best women farmer award also so during exactly for an fruit maturity period we had to put this uh, bird nuts otherwise you won't get any quality fruits so these are the products available isn't it so apart from that even ihr we are also working lychee and we used to prepare more than half dozen products but already lot of commercial products are available in market just like rambutan avocado we used to celebrate or we used to organize awareness program or uh, brainstorming session in lychee and uh, as per south indian condition we used to get the fruits on november and december isn't it so november december all christmas new year eve all functions used to come and we used to get a premium price even for our chetali we used to get 1 kg 400 rupees and again it will go to market almost double isn't it 600 to 800 rupees they used to get it so this are all the successful growers profile and our, apart from avocado rambutan lychee and one more uh, underutilized or future crop is passion fruit is in it i think nowadays it is a very popular and uh, even i think now madam might be knowing even tenny district also passion fruit is uh, nowadays is a very popular but as per ihr is concerned we are having only one variety as, as you know that in general we are having two types one is a yellow passion fruit that is a local type and uh, maybe we don't know that origin but the people are telling that it came from kerala in particularly for even near coimbatore nelliyambadi on research station is there so they only developed that yellow passion fruit 
and uh, we are having our own uh, varieties called the purple passion fruit the name is called kaveri arka kaveri is a kaveri is our released variety and we used to get the fruits uh, almost uh, 6 to 7 months we used to get fruit and the only thing is this is a only fruit we cannot eat isn't it have you seen passion fruit anywhere where where you have seen hmm here here is there only one plant huh? only one plant have you tasted huh? no they won't allow to taste yes. is it once upon a time yes, the vision material only so uh, even we are having a very good orchard at chetali so this is a only fruit we cannot eat the only thing is no we can make a juice and we have to drink isn't it even this is having a very unique flavor or a fragrance once you cut it at least within 500 meters Uh, circumstance easily will come to know okay today post harvest uh, laboratory our madam is cutting passion fruit so better now we'll rush we'll get uh, some juice from madam isn't it ma'am so madam definitely you know very happy to serve huh? if quantity is available is a conditions applicable isn't it uh, okay so this is a kaveri passion fruit is a very famous very popular only thing is we need so this is a very famous passion fruit huh? particularly for kaveri because only it is required pandal isn't it it's a climber plant and wherever you are having even a fencing or compound wall even some areas even mandiya district they used to grow as a intercrop intercrop in arika coconut and arika plantations isn't it so very popular mostly for all the tropicana and the real juice fruit processing industries they used to purchase these kind of fruit juices all your tetra packs contain some amount of passion fruits compulsory because of its fragrance okay so whatever irrespective of juice whether mango or any juice they will add one or two drops of passion fruit okay because of fragrance and the flavor and if you go to any three star five star hotel welcome drink will be a only two isn't it one is a passion fruit juice another one is we don't know sir better now you take it then we'll taste and tell isn't it so one is a welcome drink will be a passion fruit another one is kokum kokum juice so nobody knows because that is only attract If you serve mango juice, nobody will go to three star hotel, isn't it? Some unnamed or no, nobody knows that juice. That only they will serve. So next time also you will come, huh? Pound for juice, isn't it? So this is a curiosity or to attract the customer. So of course this is a Kaveri variety we released at Chigesa Chettali Central Horticultural Experiment Station. So this is uh, more than 30 years old. and the here in the mainly we used to concentrate on juice making only and it's a high yielding type so compared to yellow one this is a high yielding type and uh, tumwort tolerant to nematode so major one is nematode so because of nematode population almost 60 to 70 percent orchard we lost so this are somewhat tolerant to nematode and also wilt so we are having very big industry even for you now karnataka the major uh, fruit juice industry is a passion fruit isn't it so we are having a lot of no this uh, products particularly rts beverages we used to make and uh, recently they made a, a passion fruit uh, cake passion fruit cake and a passion fruit halwa also we used to make so these are the five products we are making and the major one is a fruit juice rts product so these are all the products available in the market so apart from no, our own products these are all the commercial products available the next important one is sour soap what do you call in tamil mulsita isn't it so anana muriketa we used to call sour soap even uh, somebody they used to call graveola also isn't it graveola <coughs> this is also introduced to one only it's not a native but chetali we are having very good collections we are having a more than 10 collections as you know, as you might be knowing that it is a anti cancer isn't it for anti cancer plan and they used to take this fruits wherever no and that uh, what you call that cancer patient they used to take this fruit or eat otherwise they used to take decoction from this leaves so normally they used to drink sour soap uh, tea isn't it what they will do that leaves and all they will harvest and they will dry it and they will make as a powder just like a tea powder and they will prepare <coughs> this uh, what do you call the tea powder sour soap tea isn't it so it will they are telling that it will reduce the that cancer cells so anti cancer plant and we are having very good collections so here mostly we used to prepare rts beverages one is a rts juice we used to make and the second one is a rts cake they used to prepare 
this is our promising line very shortly we are going to release chigaches son sour soap anna nam irukata the peculiar character is in the fruit size is big normally this is uneven fruits only you will get it the fruit size ranges from 200 to 1.5 kg and ours is almost medium size almost 600 to 800 gram and the storage life also good but the major problem is storage life after harvesting we have to dispose within 2 or 3 days you cannot store for long time that's why morning i told so morning i suggested isn't it for uh, that mucilage madam isn't it for rosolle that mucilage they are using as a edible coating for uh, enhancing the storage life of this our soap so these are all the by products available in the market almost more than one dozen products available even sour soap uh, decoction powder means tea decoction powder available in amazon market even you can see amazon uh, you can get it uh, products even you will get it uh, even tablets also sour soap tablets also available the next important one is underutilized fruits is garcinia so garcinia is a major one isn't it a garcinia so here we are having a three important species the important one is a garcinia indica having a lot of species but as per commercial important the major one is kokum isn't it garcinia indica then another one second one is garcinia gummiketa and the third one is garcinia sendokaimas so these are all the major important one apart from that we are having garcinia mangostina that everybody knows but as per uh, this is uh, and this fruit this is originated from western ghats only and uh, this is uh, mainly used for drinks isn't it <coughs> mainly for the juices and also they are making butter <coughs> kokum butter also they are making and kokum juice they are making and the kokum tablets also available as the morning i told it is having anti obesity isn't it so those who wants to reduce their weight they have to drink this kokum juice regularly so even google it you will get you know lot of literatures so if you want to gain weight don't eat if you want to reduce your weight then you can drink kokum regularly so these are all the products available and i think you might be knowing mangosteen isn't it no need to tell about mangosteen this is a king of fruit or queen of fruit so queen of fruit isn't it so this is all just like no mangosteen is available in lower palani hills and also some parts of sherurai hills nilgiris this is vayanad is a famous market in india mangosteen na wherever you go vayanad is a big market this is a successful jacob is a successful grower in uh, mangosteen this are all the package transport in mangosteen so this are all the by products available isn't it almost more than one dozen products available the next one species is morella garcinia morella mostly mass remaining i told hca hydroxy citric acid i amount of hydroxy citric acid is available in morella mostly used for pharma industry and uh, third species is important one is umbrella tree it is called as umbrella tree garcinia sendokaimas even for our landscaping and all we used to recommend this one only say evergreen plant and we used to get this fruits and again it is rich in hca and the fourth one is a gummiketa so kerala used to say malabar tamarind isn't it instead of tamarind they will try it this fruit and they will use for all veg and non veg preparation even particularly for non veg preparation they will add essence of this fruit and it will dilute all fat content present in the non veg particularly meat products so karnataka kerala of course it is very popular and tamil nadu is not that much these are the products even tablets also available and i think you might be knowing nowadays no dragon fruit is a very popular one and for as far as ihr is concerned we don't have any named varieties we are having collections we are having more than 20 collections we are having and coming to the flesh we are having two types of flesh one is a white one another one is a pink one and coming to the skin again we are having two types one is a yellow skin another one is a purple one so as per dragon fruit is concerned we standardize all technology starting from training pruning canopy management off season production post harvest handling almost we standardize it. and recently we got center of excellence in dragon fruit even government of india project dst they funded almost 10 crores they given to ihr and very shortly we are going to establish center of excellence in dragon fruit at tumkur so durian no need to tell i think you might be studying i have seen isn't it we are having some collection at chetali but only thing is uh, fruiting so we are not getting regular fruiting so rarely we used to get it durian market so durian products i think are you ready to eat durian hmm? yes or no no huh? okay huh? 
So carambola, I think, na star appeal. Isn't it? This also we are having a sweet carambola and also sour carambola we are having. Of course, velvet appeal. Have you seen this one? Velvet appeal also is available. Not that much tasty, but it is a good one. Of course, malayal appeal is called the water appeal. Isn't it? Sometimes they used to call paneer appeal also. And here also we are having. I think perigulum also we are having. Isn't it, madam? Some trees. No. So this is all. We are having a lot of variability. We are having three major colors: dark pink, light green, even yellow color. Also, we are having a. This is a water appeal. So even sugar patient also we used to recommend. This is a promising line. We are going to release. So these are all the problems in cultivation. Actually, these are all the fruits now we used to call as a future fruit crops. Only thing is uh, there is no production technology is available and uh, no quality of planting material. Where we'll get it, we don't know, isn't it? Uh, these kind of fruits. And uh, after that, where will market? Marketing is a problem. Again, uh, processing and uh, value addition. Okay, these are all the concerns. Of course, uh, IHR we are working. We are working more than 100 uh, uh, future fruit crops. We have standardized uh, our technologies, isn't it? Uh, this is a uh, one take home message to to us okay so what do you understand this slide because last time vegetable crops also i put a one on slide isn't it a take home message this is a take home message for fruits you tell that this is self explanatory no need to explain huh whatever you understand just you tell huh girl side you tell first huh Based on this slide, what you got? What is your observation? Everything no need to explain, isn't it? So, why said? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that is an observation. So, how you to interpret? Your interpretation is important, isn't it? That is everybody knows. Chapels in AC room and whatever we are eating, fruits in outside. Isn't it? So, Nama on the other Velil Vekinamo, other on the Ulla Vichirko, Yeda Ulla Vekinamo, other Velil Vichirko. Ilia, huh? Simple understanding. How to interpret? Same way, isn't it? Whatever healthy benefits are now, whatever we used to call that all minerals, vitamins are rich in under it lies of fruits, but we are selling in uh, roadside, isn't it? Though there is no package, whatever package I showed, all in theoretical only, isn't it? This is a practical point of view. We used to sell only outside, isn't it? But chapels normally now we won't allow to take inside. We used to keep outside only. But we are giving a freedom to sit AC rooms, isn't it? This is a take-home message for us. So we have to consider, isn't it? So this slide I have seen last 15 years. That's why I want to show, isn't it? Even my teacher also showed this slide. So only I got I changed crop. That time uh, they kept in some other crops, I think. Eh? So now I change the rambutan. Okay. So thank you very much for your patience. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any questions? Because getting time, that's why now I got uh, kids. Eh? So I had to wind up. That's why now fastly I moved the slides. Eh? Any questions? Eh? Just you ask. Only fruits or any vegetables or flowers about IHR technology. Anything? If you want to know more or any anything, just you ask. Very clear means then I will ask one or two questions. At, at, least, at least for my own satisfaction. Is it? <laughs> huh? Because you are having program. Toxins. I think toxins and all nothing. Because that is all only media news. Isn't it? There is no toxin. Lychee is commercially recommended. Even just like mango steen, it is an energetic fruit. Isn't it? So long back, maybe two years or three years back, we got a news that those who are eating, they will get pain dead or no. Even children are all dying. Like that now, one media news came. That is not true. Already they inquired. Even NRC team, they went. Only thing is, what they eaten is pesticide sprayed fruits. That they were hiding. So then that farmers they are not telling eh? so whatever no they eat at that time eh? that is uh, already you know even uh, synthetic pesticide sprayed fruits so that's why you know they found some toxic eh? otherwise it is nothing so this is a very energetic fruit general lychee even for south india we are not at all taking even uh, most of the persons know we are not at all seen isn't it so lychee is available only during the month of may june only and lychee one one kg just for your information i am telling at bangalore 400 rupees one kg so how many fruits you will get 10 fruits only you will get it isn't it even if you purchase we used to take only one fruit 
isn't it hardly you know each person they will get only one fruit only and if you are eating more then there is a chance isn't it that is not a proven but the she is telling that is also came in media so mostly you know we are not recommending for only you know you eat night lychee isn't it in general nobody will eat fruits in our condition isn't it mostly we'll eat banana only other than banana we won't eat any fruits if you go to hotels they will provide salad then we'll eat isn't it otherwise getting fruit particularly for dosa idli and all is getting problem in our house if you ask dosa they will provide idli only isn't it if you ask then they will provide only rice then if you ask lychee definitely no you will get banged isn't it so for our condition this is applicable to north india but north india particularly bihar every house they used to maintain lychee trees so lychee season now continuously they will eat only lychee but our condition it's not like that so eating one or two fruits it won't change any our metabolism so not that much toxic okay any other question so my question is uh, regarding um, wild species availability in underutilized fruits so so far we presented uh, almost known uh, that is known means uh, uh, maximum categories of 16 species for example in kodaikanal one wild berry is available Uh, we examine the content of nutrient as well as uh, all the parameters it is equal to the top or nearest to the blueberries but blueberries we don't have yes but we have endangered type of berries will it possible to exploit this type exactly of, uh, sir exactly as i presented uh, because some time constraint this is almost 135 slides so even wild as you told unknown even uh, particularly berries even chetali we used to get a raspberry blueberry and another one more three berries we used to collect from forest areas but the only thing is where is the market sir again problem we used to multiply we had a more than 2000 plants we multiplied during the year 2017 18 nobody is ready to take even though we analyzed as you told we have done all nutrient profiling and all and we planted maintained a separate block but the only thing is awareness even these fruits and all nowadays only we are coming to market isn't it i think avocado we might be knowing even 20 30 years back nowadays only it is popular like that wild species a lot of is there even garcinia we are having 12 species all are economically important but only we are focusing on kokum only kokum that is garcinia indica apart from that we are having a 12 species we are having so like that berries also we are having a very good amount even during the most of this under it lies uh, fruits and all now obvious our western gods only almost 60 to 70% originated from western gods only but the only thing is we are unable to maintain i think maybe our own exclusive institute or research station should require to maintain this kind of uh, underutilized fruits or this kind of no genetic wealth or genetic resources otherwise earlier when we were in chetali we used to maintain so that is a as a institute mandate afterwards in that you know a uh, lot of uh, leader changes and all now nobody is interested to work in these crops because only thing is in this all perennial crops isn't it so our fruiting and all it will come later because i want i want to publish paper within one year isn't it so for that no nobody is interested to work in fruit crops that also nowadays everybody wants avocado only even our ihr scientists everybody wants work avocado because this is a international crop if you work then you will publish and your nas rating will be 7 or 9 or 10 nobody interested in garcinia because garcinia is a low volume crop so now people also know towards career oriented towards mark oriented so nobody is interested when we were in chetali we are having a very mega project underutilized fruits after we left then the project itself closed so nobody is interested it was kept abeyance for 2 to 3 years then our director told anybody interested you can go and work and nobody wants to work this crop nobody wants to go cork so that was the reason then institute itself we closed this project so at present we are working eh, but not that much uh, uh, extensive level that is a major problem uh, that yeah is, it is available it's available so uh, what uh, janavi express is correct because i examine one of the uh, important bakery at kodaikanal so they harvest only wild berries and make it into jam and the jam is a top grade uh, valuable product with a cost 100 gram jam of wild berries cost about 400 rupees Okay. But our mango as well as other jam cost rewards won't be less. Difficult. Less. Correct, sir. Uh, even uh, yeah, it is available. Even Kurk also, madam. If you come to Kurk, no, lot of homemade products are available. 
you will get all no homemade even uh, wine also you will get plenty of homemade wine or chocolate and all you used to get it only thing is marketing particularly for tribal areas even in uh, tribal area even uh, uh, kurk we are having you know on tribal union uh, they used to prepare these kind of products uh, and they used to market on only tourist places wherever they are coming no they used to sell only thing is no there is no extensive research in our side uh, any uh, uh, university also icr institute also these are all the neglected crops only just for academic interest we are working not that much even karonda is a compared to other uh, this is a rich in uh, iron content but nobody is working in karonda and uh, as for ihr we are working on karonda and we are having lot of no new varieties also so if there is uh, no questions in this uh, forum i request dr nageshwari professor of department of vegetables to propose so good evening to one and all present here and also the participants who have joined online so dr shankar has explained uh, have a elaborate lecture on the minor food crops uh, covering from avocado to this uh, raspberry so on behalf of the dean horticulture periholam as well as the dean spgs koimathur i thank dr shankar profusely for accepting our uh, invitation to conduct the uh, final bio hours for my student and also to give the guest lecture i thank all the hods who participated in this program thank you anandal thank you anandal sir thank you sir